Microscopic life looks calm and harmless until you zoom in and realize some of the wildest hunters on Earth are smaller than a grain of dust. Today we are going into a secret arena where one drop of water holds monsters with stretchable necks, lightning attacks, and living armor. Stay with me because the last predator on this list moves like a tiny centipede from a science fiction movie. Amoeboid Net Trap Didymium nigripes is a slime mold that can move like an animal and spread like a fungus. On surfaces, it crawls forward as a thin sheet of living jelly. When it senses nearby cells and tiny creatures, parts of that sheet rise up and form branching nets. Those nets slowly surround and encircle the prey, closing gaps and tightening until escape is almost impossible. Once the trap is sealed, didymium secretes enzymes that break down the captured bodies and absorbs the dissolved nutrients. Stretched Neck Killer The first hunter looks like a quiet teardrop until its neck suddenly shoots out like a living rope. This is Lacrimaria Olor the Stretched Neck Killer. Its body stays anchored while its long neck can extend more than 30 times its normal size. At the tip is a tiny mouth that searches through the water like a radar. When it touches a small cell, the neck whips tight, pulls the prey in, and the meal is over before the victim even reacts. It hunts by blind feeling, constantly sweeping, twisting and reeling back like a fishing line made of living muscle. Sideswipe Bullet Now meet a predator that attacks from the side instead of the front. Anisonema asinus swims tilted with two flagella of different lengths beating like uneven oars. That strange shape gives it a sideways slide that feels like a drifting race car. It glides slows down near a cluster of bacteria, then suddenly darts sideways and slams through the cloud catching food as it passes. Because it keeps its body at an angle, the flow it creates drags prey straight into its path. It is not loud or flashy, just a perfect sideswipe hit and run in the microscopic lane. Spring Jump Hunter If you think jumping is only for fleas and frogs, Halteria grandinella proves that wrong. This tiny ciliate can suddenly spring through water in sharp little hops. Instead of swimming in smooth lines, it releases stored tension, flips its body, and launches itself like a popcorn kernel. Each jump helps it escape larger hunters and rush into fresh clouds of food. It is both prey and predator, at once bouncing between danger and dinner. In a drop of pond water, one of these jumps looks almost like a glitch in a video, a quick teleport that confuses anything chasing it. Thunderstrike Body some predators do not need teeth or claws. Spirostomum ambiguum uses its whole body as a weapon. It is one of the longest single cells in the pond stretched out like a slow-moving ribbon. Then in a fraction of a second that ribbon contracts to a tiny fraction of its length. The sudden snap sends a shockwave into the water around it. Nearby cells are shaken, tossed, and sometimes stunned just long enough for spirostomum to glide over and feed. Scientists measured this move and found it is one of the fastest body contractions in the living world. Armored Micro Tank Every battlefield needs a tank, and in the micro world, that job belongs to Coleps Hurtus. Its body is covered in hard plates made of calcium, arranged like tiny armor tiles. When it moves, the plates slide over each other so it stays shielded while still flexible. Coleps roams through decaying material, tearing soft tissue into pieces and sucking up the loose bits. Other predators can grab it, but the armor makes it hard to bite or pierce. Even when it feeds from old remains, it behaves like a cleanup crew with jaws of steel leaving nothing but empty husks behind. Spear Body Star If you could shrink down next to Actinosferium icorni, it would look like a little sun with long glassy rays. The round body sends out dozens of stiff microtubule arms, each tipped with a sticky point. Tiny swimmers that brush past get snagged on those rays as if they touched a web. Actinosferium slowly reels the prey inward along the arm until it reaches the central cell, then wraps it in a food vacuole. It does not chase it, simply sits in the water column like a floating mine, letting the hunt come to it from every direction. Before we go further, a quick question for you. Which microscopic hunter so far feels the strangest to you and why? Drop your favorite name in the comments and share how you would describe it in one sentence. Bladehead Slicer Litanotus fasciola is long and flat like a razor sliding through the water. Along one side, the cell forms a sharp blade-like edge. When it glides next to another ciliate, that edge presses in and slices through the soft outer layer. The victim's cell opens just enough for Litanotus to start feeding on the exposed parts. It does not rush. It slowly moves along the surface, drawing out what it needs almost like a careful carving process. 
Under the microscope, it looks more like a tool than an animal, a living scalpel that never dulls. Swordneck Hunter Trachylocerca sagita has a body that narrows into a long sword-like neck. The main part of the cell anchors to debris while the neck explores the space above like a flexible blade. When a small swimmer passes close, the neck straightens and drives forward in a quick thrust. The prey is caught at the tip and drawn back to the wider body where digestion happens. That mix of fixed base and roaming neck lets it patrol a whole neighborhood without ever moving its center. It turns one tiny patch of pond into a guarded tower. Lightning Grab Snout The next predator, Deleptus margaritifer, carries its weapon at the front. Its long snout extends from a thicker body and is lined with toxic organelles called extrusums. The cell waves that snout around like a cable, brushing it over other microorganisms. When contact is made, the extrusums fire, stunning the prey in an instant. Deleptus then pulls the helpless cell toward its mouth groove and consumes it in one smooth motion. The grab is so fast that on camera it feels like a jump cut one moment free the next moment already captured. Spiral Attack Swirl Persmita torquata hunts with a move that looks almost stylish. As it closes in on smaller cells, it begins to spin, rolling its body in tight spirals. The water around it twists, dragging prey into its path the way a tiny whirlpool pulls in leaves. Once the victim gets close enough, Persmita presses its cell membrane against it and starts drawing out the contents. The spiral is not just for show, it is a way to increase contact and keep food from slipping away. In a world dominated by straight-line swimmers, this spinning predator turns the hunt into a dance. Double Whip Fighter Dynama platysoma races through the water with two flagella that beat in very different ways. One pulls the cell forward like a motor, the other trails behind and steers flicking sideways to adjust direction. When it attacks, the front flagellum slows while the trailing one whips hard, swinging the whole cell into a precise turn that lines it up with its prey. That double whip control lets it track and hit moving targets instead of just bumping into them by chance. It is part pilot, part fighter jet, even though the whole body is smaller than a speck of dust. If this micro world excites you, hit like and subscribe now so you can follow every new hunter. Jagged Jaw Grinder Amphileptus hilgendorfi earns its place on this list with a mouth that looks like a microscopic chain of teeth. Along one side of its body, the cell forms a long oral groove lined with hard, jagged structures. When Amphileptus finds a soft-bodied prey, it presses that groove against it and starts a rolling motion pulling the victim in while grinding it at the same time. Bits of tissue break away and are swallowed as the predator keeps moving. It can even work on prey almost as big as itself, slowly reducing it while staying in control of the encounter. Needle Straw Feeder Asineta tuberosa takes a very different approach. It attaches to a surface and grows slender tentacles called suctorial tubes. These tubes extend outward like a bundle of tiny needles. When a ciliate swims past and brushes one, the tube sticks, pierces the surface, and begins to draw out the inner fluids. The prey often stays alive and moving for a while, but the strength flows away into the asinita cell. There is almost no visible struggle, just a quiet transfer of material through transparent straws until the prey is an empty shell. Harpoon Tube Hunter Tocophrya lemnarum also uses suctorial tubes, but with a more explosive beginning. It lives attached to floating plant surfaces and extends short capture tubes into the water around it. These tubes can fire a fast harpoon-like structure when they detect contact. That shot anchors the tube to passing prey and opens a narrow channel. Tocophrya then pumps the soft contents through this channel into its own cell. It stands still, yet attacks with speed at a distance like a tiny living turret on a drifting leaf. Glide Killer Sheet Litanotus lamella looks almost like a soft transparent sheet gliding smoothly over surfaces. Instead of biting from the side, it can simply cover a smaller organism underneath its flexible body. Once the prey is trapped beneath that living blanket, enzymes start to break it down, and nutrients are absorbed directly through the contact points. The flat shape gives Litanotus a huge feeding area compared with its volume, so even a gentle glide across a biofilm can turn into a long row of meals. It is less like a single hunter and more like a moving feeding mat. Slipper Shape Ambush Loxophyllum meleagris has a body shaped like a soft slipper wide on one side and thin on the other. It bends and twists that shape to wrap around prey, turning its own body into a trap. 
Sometimes it folds so completely that the victim vanishes from view inside the curves of the cell. Cilia along its surface keep water moving bringing fresh particles close, while the flexible edges handle the capture. Loxofilum is not fast, but its control over shape lets it turn simple contact into a full ambush. Toxic Light Ciliate Pseudoblepharisma tenu is one of the strangest looking ciliates ever found with a deep purple body that glows under certain light. Inside it hosts both green and purple partners that can use light to make energy. That means this predator can both hunt and harvest light. Some studies suggest that when it crowds prey into certain parts of its body, the mix of light pigments and internal chemistry can stress or weaken the captured cells making feeding easier. It is like a living solar-powered trap turning sunlight into fuel for the hunt. Micro Green Invader Helicosporidium parasiticum tricks the eye at first glance because it looks just like harmless green algae. The secret is that it lives inside insect bodies hiding within their tissues. When an insect larva swallows spores, those spores escape the gut, enter the blood, and spread through the host. Inside the cells, they change form, lining up and twisting into helix shapes that slowly take over the space. As the infection spreads, the parasite uses the insect body as its personal greenhouse drawing energy and material until nothing useful is left. Then new spores form ready to move into the next host. Multi-Leg Chaser Euplodes vanus walks more than it swims. Along one side of its body, many fused cilia form thick leg, like bundles called cirri. These act like tiny feet, letting you plots run over surfaces in short, fast bursts. It can suddenly change direction stomp through clusters of food and herd bacteria toward its mouth area. Under a microscope, it looks almost like a microscopic crab or centipede lifting and planting its cirri as it moves. That walking style gives it a big advantage on cluttered surfaces where straight swimming would just lead to constant crashes. Before we wrap up this tour of tiny hunters here is one more thing to think about. Which micro predator amazed you the most? Which one would you most like to see animated in a full movie scene? Tell us in the comments below and explain your choice in a simple line. Which micro predator amazed you? Want more hidden micro worlds? Tell us in the comments below. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.